Oh, uh, diggy, dig, dig. Soup dog, diggy, dig, dig, dig. And to top it off, there's even some dolphins swimming out there. Yeah, like I said, this is my happy place. And Disneyland's only like half an hour away from here, but... Oh wow, one, two, three dolphins, I think. Love it. Oh yeah. What happened to the toy, huh? Did you rip it apart? You look pretty happy about yourself. Just another beautiful Huntington Beach sunset. And my friend's gonna do some kite surfing. My dog's gonna watch. So, um, just showed up at one of my friend's gatherings and I didn't even realize that they were having a kid. So, this is the reveal here today and it's pretty awesome. They have all sorts of cool games and competitions. And, yeah, it's a great day in the park. Oink, oink, I say. <laughs> um, how y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm in Colorado right now. I have to say Colorado because it's pretty rad. And the last week, another awesome week. Uh, I spent a couple days in LA with my dog. Loved it. Uh, missed him already, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, chilled with him for a couple of days. I went on a Muni ride down there, one of my favorite trails, and that was a lot of fun. And the scenery was beautiful. And I'm not talking just about the trees, but there are a lot of cute females out there hiking and biking. And it's always nice to see that. And it's pretty busy. So, um, plus, it's just fun to kind of. I guess show off and go down these trails and stuff on a unicycle and do the break coast and and all that. Um, I also saw one of my best friends do some kite surfing and he actually taught me how to fly a little, little um, trainer kite surfing kite. It has two strings and <laughs> kind of funny I almost killed someone within the first one minute because he uh, he handed it to me and I had no idea what I was doing. Plus apparently it was like tangled up or something and so he handed it to me, it shot up and then shot straight down like a foot from this couple and they were pretty pissed but we apologized and no one got hurt so. But that was pretty cool, I gotta hang out with him and then uh, I had a surprise gathering, uh, I didn't know but my another good friend or both two friends a couple are they're having a kid and I had no idea um, they had my old phone number and so they had sent me like the you know the info a, a week or two ago and I went to some random person so yeah I showed up and they were doing the reveal party, so that was pretty cool. Got to spend a couple hours with them playing games, and super cool. Um, 
What else happened? I think, uh, yeah, I hung out with some more friends. And then it was time to leave. I had to drop MacGyver off with my ex, which is kind of sad, but, you know, I can't really have him since I travel so much, so it's kind of bittersweet, but I was so happy to spend a couple days with him, and he had a smile on his face the whole time. He just loved it. Just beach days and disc golf, and, uh, I mean, I loved it. He loved it. We all loved it. And then uh, I picked up some art thing to deliver from Laguna Beach to Breckenridge. Um, so it kind of paid for gas to come out here, which is cool. Um, but let's rewind it back a little bit because I forgot to say that I put the unicorn, the roving unicorn together and rode that around before I left. And wow, I, I forgot how much fun that is. Just... Just for fun, you know, I went, I started out in Laguna Beach, rode it around, ah, so much fun. Then I went to Newport Beach, and that was awesome because they have this bike path that's right along, like, the beach, but there's houses, and everyone's, like, kind of partying and drinking, and you have kids and families and adults, and, oh, man, it was awesome. I got a couple of free beers from people just partying. They're like, hey, you want a beer? I was like, yeah. And so that was fun. And then I went, after that, I went up to Huntington and, and rode for an hour during sunset. And uh, it's just, I love it. I wish I could do it more often and get paid for it, but whatever. It's still fun doing for free. I mean, I, I like it and other people like it, so. And, uh, oh, in Huntington, they have, like, a, every Sunday, they have, like, a drum circle as the sun sets. And I was, like, going through, everyone's dancing, and I'm kind of hopping, and I'm dancing along. And, ah, uh, it was, it was a real treat. And I think someone took a YouTube video of it. Um, I'll try to post a link in the description if I can find it. And then uh, I picked up some kind of hippie chick. I posted an ad on Craigslist that I was heading from LA to Denver and she wanted a ride so she gave me a little bit of money for gas and she turned out to be really cool. She has dreads and um, yeah it was nice to have company and she helped drive a little bit and all was good until we got to Glenwood Springs. Uh, well, we swung by the hot springs to have a soak for 20 minutes which was nice and then at the free hot springs um, yeah there's a really big I think it's the world biggest one in Glenwood Springs um, but I went to the free one and it's cool it's, it's, I recommend it but as soon as we left there on I-70 it was closed do to a fire so they closed the interstate and there was a detour that went up Independence Pass like through Aspen and added like two hours and it was already late we uh, yeah started doing the detour and at midnight we're going up the pass and these three dickheads I guess or morons I don't know what you can call them but they there's a sign that says no trucks past this length, you know, because it's too windy and curvy and they get stuck. Sh sure as shit, three of them didn't see it or ignored it and they went anyways and all three of them got stuck and so we had to wait a half an hour for the cops to help them back them out and turn them around and uh, so yeah, we ended up finding some uh, BLM free campsite and camp at like 12.30 in the morning and it was really cold over the night. I didn't sleep very good, but whatever. Like, it is what it is. I, I'm i here, I'm alive, I'm happy, and life is good. And I hope life is good for y'all. Uh, I dropped the chick off and now I'm back. It was too hot in Denver, it was like 100 degrees, and I was like, screw that. So I turned around and came 
back into the mountains for a couple of days. I'm gonna chill here at this free BLM campsite kind of area, um, do some uni rides and just slow my roll, chill out a bit, and then uh, meet up with some people this weekend. I'll tell you all about it in the next vid. Uh, when life throws you pigs, eat them. Oink, oink. If you're not vegan or vegetarian. Here's to you, pigs.